everybody. Good morning. Welcome to our virtual talk today. Now, the virtual talk today is held in conjunction of International Women's Day 2021. I'm sure everybody is excited as much as I am as a fellow woman to learn more about our women's um, health. Um, uh, without further ado, let's start the talk and invite our Dr. Nazira Wahab, Medical Officer of Columbia Asia Hospital, Skandabutri. Are we beginning now? Okay, hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and uh, uh, hello everybody. Okay, I hope it's not too late, okay, to say Happy Women's Day to all of women in here. Okay, this year the theme is uh, Choose to Challenge. Okay, give me my speech. Okay, so we should know eh, is uh, my, blood, my blood pressure is healthy, it's within the normal limit. And then what should I screen for based on my age? Because it's different between the young, older and elderly. Okay. How do I need open uh, physical examination, uh, breast exam, physical, pelvic exam and pet smear? And then is it my weight is ideally for uh, for the height? Okay. That's why the health screening is very important. Okay. Um, health screening is the way to gain awareness and understanding uh, our health. Okay. So it helps find out if uh, if it has a particular disease. Sometimes it may not show any symptom. So we call it as asymptomatic, no symptom at all. Okay, so through the health screening, we can early detect or some error, some disease or condition. And then when we have uh, early treatment, it can have a good outcome and less serious complication later. Okay, these are the, uh, our Columbia Asia provide for the basic health screening. Okay, physical examination to, uh, will examine by the doctor thoroughly from the head to toe and BMI to measure the weight, whether it's ideally or not. Blood pressure, chest x-ray, resting ECG. ECG is to see our uh, rhythm of the uh, heart. Good blood count, lipid profile. Uh, this one contains of cholesterol, LDL we call it a bad uh, cholesterol, HDL we call it a good cholesterol, liver function test, renal function or kidney function and also including the fasting glucose, uh, virus screening and the blood group. Okay, so this is uh, my topic outline for today to talk about women health issue. Okay. So the first one will be the cerebrovascular disease. Okay, what's meaning by cerebrovascular? Okay, before that, I just want to mention cardiovascular uh, vascular is the any abnormal uh, cardiac vascular, any abnormal cardiac is a heart, vascular blood vessel. So it's any abnormal uh, heart and blood vessel. Okay, such as uh, ischemic heart disease, okay, coronary heart disease, which we usually term as a heart block. Okay, and then through um, uh, peripheral artery disease, DVT, okay. So, um, heart block, ischemic heart disease, is the second most killer in the female of Malaysia. Okay, so uh, this show, okay, the modified uh, risk factor that we can change. Okay, we can see here uh, from the survey, hypertension, diabetic, overweight, obese, this one different uh, measure from the range of the BMI. Lipid and smoking is the factors that affect of the cardiovascular. Okay. So from the 1996 to 2006 show, the increased prevalent percentage of the hypertension, diabetic, overweight and obesity. So throughout the year, it increased the trend. Okay. Um, I just want to mention eh, diabetic mellitus. When uh, the prevalence of diabetic mellitus in adult age 30 and over has increased from 8.3% in 1996 to 14%. Okay, so I believe in 2010 20 the percentage is, uh, is increased more. Okay, and then the prevalence uh, is increasing within the age. Okay, from 2% 80 to 24 years old age of group uh, and then uh, increase to 20 to 26% among the 50 to 64 years old. Okay, and then the type 2 diabetes mellitus is account uh, for more than 90, 95% of the local diabetes population. Type 2 is mean that the diabetes in the adult group. Okay, so this one just want to show you, okay, <laughs> Malaysian people getting fat through the year, okay. Compare uh, from the 1980, the BMI, the average is 22, which is ideally. 2008, 25, 
this one is already the overweight. So can you believe what happened to 2020? Okay. Okay. This just want to show. Okay. Uh, it can reduce. Okay. Uh, prevent. Okay. If we modify the risk. Okay. The diabetes. Uh, overweight. Uh, blood pressure. Hypertension. Smoking. Uh, cholesterol. Okay. So if let's say that. Uh, that, that there is a risk, okay, we can get a prompt treatment to optimize our body regulation to prevent the fatty disease. Okay, so uh, in Colombia, for the cardiac heart screening, okay, from the blood, what the most important, uh, we measure the lipid profile. Lipid profile, they will measure um, general name fat, fat and there is a good cholesterol, bad cholesterol, but usually the fat is a bad cholesterol, okay. Resting ECG, uh, stress test. Stress test is we give uh, stress to the heart, whether through exercise, okay, uh, through the treadmill, or we give from medication, okay, to see the adequate blood flow during a uh, heart uh, stress, okay. Echo cardiac, uh, echo is the ultrasound for the heart, okay, to see the structure of the heart. Uh, CT coronary calcium scoring and also anchor bracket index. Okay, so from this uh, graph, okay, it show the breast is the leading cancer in female in Malaysia, okay, 34%, followed by colorectal, cervix, trachea, ovary, uterine, lymphoma, thyroid, leukemia, and other skin. Okay, uh, so this one I want uh, to explain more about the cervical cancer. Cervical cancer is actually is the most preventable cancer okay so actually cervical cancer is developed in women's cervix okay which is a one part of our uh, female reproductive system okay 99 linked to infection with high risk human papilloma virus we call it hpv okay so the the most culprit is because of the hpv okay it's an extremely common virus transmitted through sexual contact so from the male, you can contact to, uh, we can get uh, this, okay, through the sexual contact to our uh, partner. So it's very important to have a safer uh, sexual, okay. Okay, uh, this one to show eh, generally, okay, cervical cancer uh, is the slow progress, okay. You can see here the skin layer from the normal to the cancer, it through the pre cancer part. So it's low progress. So we can detect between that. Okay. So from here also the normal cervix turn to the low grade and high grade and cancer. Okay. So through the uh, cervical screening, uh, which is pap smear and HPDNA test, we can de uh, detect early. Okay. Pap smear is um efficient simple and fast uh, procedure okay it's a mild convenient it's not too pain tolerable pain okay when we need to done when sexually active once three year mean every three year from age 21 through six. necessary uh, is the cancer because it's slow progress right just now so maybe it's a part of precancerous cells okay then required for the test maybe biopsy Okay, so when we detect early, when we do the regular checkup, so we can detect uh, before it becomes a cancer. Okay, we can get a prompt treatment, educate treatment, follow up, and then can prevent the cervical cancer. Okay, HPV DNA test. This one we want to know the group, uh, okay, high risk group or lower group test for DNA. It's the same, similar procedure like pap smear. Okay, and then the third one is HPV vaccination. Okay. HPV vaccination, um, this one is 70%, uh, eh? it can prevent the cervical cancer, okay. I just want to talk a uh, little bit more about the, this vaccination, okay. Uh, actually, Malaysian, uh, our government already implemented eh, to give, uh, this one, the HPV vaccination is better to give uh, before sexually active, okay. So, uh, government already give uh, the vaccine. Uh, 15 years old, okay, the second uh, from, t from three school is a free, okay, uh, because it's a better outcome to prevent the cervical cancer, okay, but if let's say uh, uh, 
uh, after we can give a vaccine three times dose one time the second dose is after one month the third dose is after six months okay why we give the hpv vaccine to prevent the cervical because 70 percent is because of from this the virus okay uh, hpv virus is the most common viral infection reproductive tract mean actually it doesn't necessarily impact the cervical it affects also the other reproductive such as the vulva the vagina okay it can be transmitted from one person to another through skin to skin genital contact okay one of two sexually adult will have been infected once in their lifetime because HPV uh, is not only uh, serious, okay, it has actually it has a good type of virus in human papilloma virus is uh, nearly 200 types, okay. So um, there is a low risk group, high risk group, okay, nearly 200, okay. So uh, this one example eh, HPV type 6 and 11 is 90 percent is caused genital wart, okay. This one, the high risk group, 16, 18, 31, 33, 45, 52, 58, uh, cause the high risk, okay? Mostly cervical cancer, and the cancer, vulva, vagina. The most type is 16 to 18. Actually, it's the type of the virus, lah, okay? Um, here in Colombia, we use Gerdasil vaccination, okay? Which contain all the nine uh, type of the this one. Uh, type of the this uh, this virus number of the HPV. Okay, so uh, I repeat again how to prevent through the get uh, vaccination and through the uh, regular pap smear. Okay, and then uh, for female HPV not only cause the cervical mostly genital wart and then sometimes it results spontaneously and then sometimes need treatment. Okay. Cervical precancer, cervical cancer, anal cancer, and vulva vagina. Okay, for the male also it can cause genital wart and also the anal cancer. That's why it can transmit. Okay, from uh from the partner. Okay, um. Okay, so the second topic is a breast cancer. Such as I said before, breast cancer is the leading cancer in Asia. Okay, so we should gain awareness. How? Okay, we should do uh for female breast self examination. Okay, just uh, standing in front of the mirror, okay, see both of your breasts and then see when any changes, uh, whether symmetrical and deeper deepening or skin texture difference and then um, the structure, okay, and then through the disposition and then you pump it, okay, circular motion. Oh, circular outside to after until the until the, until the armpit and then until the below the collarbone. Okay, this one we can do breast cell examination. Uh, before we go to the hospital, lah. Okay, the other method is mammography. Okay, mammography um is uh is another essential. Okay, because it can detect early. Okay, so it's suggested uh, to do uh, within the age 50 to 74 years old, binally, means once in two years. Okay, and then uh, women low risk uh, is not recommended lah, but if let's say a uh, woman age 40 to 49 uh, that have high risk, then can do also. Okay, so it detects, uh, this one eh, can detect the dense, dense tissue. Okay, so before it uh, became the lump, sometimes when we did the breast examination, we cannot uh, find the lump. But when we do the screening mammography, sometimes it's abnormal. So when it can detect early, can get the uh, treatment and better outcome. Okay, so if let's say mammography has uh, abnormal finding and then uh, proceed to the ultrasound. Okay, and then the third topic for today is HIV. Okay, HIV test, how we can get the HIV test? Okay, through the blood or semen. That's why I need to uh, save sexual, protect, protect sex. Unprotected sex can get the HIV from the partner. Okay, uh, and then for the blood. Okay, uh, such as occupational hazard, okay, uh, from the needle, uh, pre of needle or sharing the needle such as the intravenous drug user okay and then who should be tested the only way that uh, we do the HIV is uh, if we test okay so it's easier most of the has this uh, HIV test okay and then uh, another one I forgot to say 
transmission, okay, uh, when pregnancy, it can be transmission to the baby and also from the breastfeeding. Okay, if they say tested positive, what we need to do? Okay, get consult uh, to the, get consult and then get treatment. Usually they give the antiretroviral treatment, ART, okay. So actually ART, we cannot cure the HIV, but we can, the outcome is for the quality of life, live longer. Okay, so this one actually we want to reduce the viral load so that it can reduce the transmission. Okay, so uh, such as when the married couple, uh, it can reduce the transmission from the guy to the, from the spouse. Okay, and then another important topic, maternal health. Okay, maternal health refer to the health of women during pregnancy, childbirth, postnatal. Okay, the most common that because of the excessive blood loss. Okay, this one um, now nowadays. Okay, we can see the the trend here. Eh? This one mortality from the 1933 to 2018. We can see the graph tremendously reduced. Why? Because of safe delivery in hospital. Okay, say no to home birth because if there's a complication, it led to the get treatment. Okay, and then how we want to uh, prevent the other co the other maternal uh, injury and death? We do the uh, initial checkup, okay, and the continuous monitoring, uh, so that it can prevent the infection, high blood pressure in pregnancy can treat uh, well, unsafe abortion and unsuited level, indirect cause such as anemia, malaria, and heart disease. Okay. Uh, this one causes of maternal death, similar. Okay, and then the fourth outline is osteoporosis. Okay, so general meaning of osteoporosis is that bone getting weak, bone fragile, brittle. Okay, why women, okay, female has high risk for osteoporosis is because of three factors. After the menopause, usually the drop of the estrogen hormone changes. Okay, then risk to get the osteoporosis. And then usually women less exercise compared to the uh, male, okay. And then the third one because of the uh, structures of the bone. Uh, women less bone density compared to the men, okay. Okay, so here you can see and this one is healthy bone, okay. Very dense, matrix there. Tapi become the porous bone, uh, the osteoporotic porous bone, okay. So that is become fragile. Sometimes it's a silent disease, okay. But when we get my trauma such as fall for the elderly, it's easy to get the fracture because why? Because of the osteoporosis. So one of the way uh, when elderly to prevent from the trauma, the, uh, my my trauma fall, okay. Uh, so how to prevent? Uh, we get the supplement calcium, vitamin D, okay. Most of the vitamin source is uh, sun exposure, okay, and then exercise. Why? Exercise can strengthen the bone. Okay. And then avoid smoking and drink. Okay. The symptom usually just now I say silence. But then it can be uh, kyphosis. Apa? Bongkok eh. And then lower back pain. Okay. Don't let your bones age faster than you. Okay. So um, how to screening eh. Uh, we use OSTA. OSTA uh, O S T A uh, in action. And also uh, using the BMD, bone metric densitometry. Okay, uh, soon Colombia will get this machine, so it can uh, uh, it can screen for the osteoporosis. And then the target is actually uh, annually. Okay, after sixty five years. Okay, and then uh, the last topic is depression in women. Okay, why the rate of depression in women is twice as high as in men? Okay. Uh, one of the factor is because hormonal factor, okay, uh, premenstrual syndrome, premenstrual dysphoric syndrome, postpartum depression, premenopause depression. That's why we need for strong community, okay. Okay, why? What is the symptom? Feeling depressed. Uh, the not quality of daily activity, losing interest in activity, low energy, having problem with sleeping, cannot sleep. And then experience changes in appetite, feeling sluggish, agitated, having difficulty concentrating, feeling hopeless, worse, guilty, having frequent part of that of society. Okay, so um, 
Uh, expert believe eh, that depression is caused by combination of biological, psychological and social factors. Okay, so certain risk factor is more vulnerable to depression. Loneliness, lack of social support, recent stressful life experience, now COVID, eh? financial problem, uh, loss of job, family history of depression, marit uh, marital relationship problem, financial strain, early childhood trauma, abuse, alcohol, drug abuse, unemployed and health problem upon pain. So, how we can help? Okay, through the support group, okay, and then for the psychotherapy, and also if you can under then consult to the psychiatrist. Okay, there is a medication that help. Sometimes we need to consult with the psychiatrist. Okay, it's very helpful. Okay, so this is my slide. Um, hopefully you can get uh, benefit from this talk. Okay, thank you, Doctor, for the wonderful talk and sharing your knowledge with us. Really appreciate it. Now, Doctor Nazura did mention in her slides that the BMI in Malaysia is increasing over the years. So, to bring to you that topic, I'm sure a lot of women are interested in this, especially the ones that are trying to lose weight, as such as me. Uh, I want to invite our dietitian, Yap Pauline, to teach us how to have a proper diet to eat right and not less. Miss Yap Pauline, it's really nice to have you here. Welcome to our talk. Hope to share a lot with you. Okay, hi, good morning, everyone. Okay, so I'm the dietitian here. My name is Pauline. So um, today I'm going to share about this uh, perfect diet. Okay, the tips is to eat right, but not eat less. Okay. Okay, so the first of all, why do we need to have a diet control? So as mentioned uh, by Dr. Nazra just now, uh, the BMI uh, issue is like uh, getting increasing uh, in our Malaysian population. So uh, most of the people who need to have uh, diet control is basically to have a, a healthy purpose. Okay, first to prevent and manage disease. Okay, and to reduce the burden on back or knee. Okay, by having a, a losing of our weight. Okay, so among women, there's some like uh, the people actually uh, have some diet control for beauty purpose. Okay, so uh, they actually want to lose some weight to improve their appearance. Okay, so they can fit in some uh, clothes that look nicer. Okay, and one of it, uh, one of the reason is to improve the skin condition by having diet control, uh, control the uh, food they're taking. They tend to have like uh, better skin uh, texture, uh, uh, skin. Okay, then uh, this is all the purpose that we need to have a diet control. Okay, then uh, these are some of the ways that actually uh, people doing diet control. Okay, so uh, one of it is actually the intermittent fasting. Okay, so uh, quite popular among the population now. Okay. Then uh, this method is to uh, eat within like few hours time, eight hours, then you rest for another uh, 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 16 hours, okay? So you're not eating anything during the 16 hours, then uh, you will eat uh, throughout the, uh, the eight hours, okay? Then this method is actually for you to lose weight easily, okay? But it's not encouraged for people who are having this gastric discomfort, okay, to have this uh, intermittent fasting. It will worsen the condition. Okay, and this method will um, not that uh, effective if like you're actually taking the same amount of food compared to the non-fasting day. Means that if like in uh, those non-fasting day, you're actually taking three meals a day or four meals a day. Okay, but now you're taking all these three or four meals, a day, uh, same amount of food, okay, uh, during the eight hours. Okay, so means that you're actually taking the same amount of calories compared to the non-fasting day. Okay, so in the end, you will feel, uh, you will feel that uh, how come your weight is actually uh, meeting the same, okay? Even though you actually go through those fasting, uh, suffering kind of uh, feeling, okay? So the other one uh, is actually the no-carbs diet, okay? So this is quite popular as well. Uh, people thought that actually uh, it's the rice or this thing, the carbo kind of food actually causing them to have uh, increasing of weight. Okay, so uh, they actually tend to uh, remove all these carbs from their diet, okay, then to reduce uh, the weight, okay, but this is a um, very imbalanced kind of meal, okay, because actually we gain a lot of these uh, nutrients from our carbs, okay, it's uh, uh, essential kind of nutrients that we need 
throughout our day. Okay, and uh, to have this no carbs diet, okay, you need a very very adequate uh, knowledge, okay, and at uh, guidance by the health professionals because not all uh, population actually can have this no carbs diet. Okay, so it's uh, for example actually this is not uh, recommended for uh, those having like maybe a uh, sugar controlling problem. Okay, so by having no carbs diet, it might affect the sugar level. Okay, so uh, and this no carbs diet normally uh, let us to feel like not that energetic, especially for the few uh, first uh, first week or second week. Okay, then uh, this causing them to have like uh, the feeling of like hard, uh, hard to sustain, hard to uh, make it long for this diet. Okay, and another one is actually people thought that uh, taking vegetarian diet is very healthy. Okay, from having like a lot of meat nowadays. Okay, then people say uh, taking meat is not healthy. Okay, so have to change to vegetarian diet. Okay, not taking all the meat, then you can have a very healthy uh, body. Okay, but it's actually uh, okay. It's actually having a lot of these uh, hidden calories uh, in this vegetarian diet. Okay, and a lot of this processed food, for example, like mock meat. Okay, there's a lot of uh, those like the fake chicken, fake uh, mutton. Okay, but it's actually made from a lot of this uh, uh, like beans powder kind of thing or gluten. Okay, then it's actually uh, added with a lot of flavor. Okay, so it actually contains a lot of these chemical products, okay, additives and also preservatives. Okay, and then the cooking method sometimes uh, is always like uh, fried food. Okay, so sometimes it's actually increasing a lot of calories, even though it's actually vegetarian diet. Okay, so it's not recommended actually to have a, a vegetarian diet that is actually high in calories, high in processed food. Okay, and this vegetarian diet sometimes actually a uh, lack of some nutrients, for example, uh, vitamin B12. Okay, then in fact, it's actually uh, to have like diet control, okay, to lose weight in, in particularly, okay, it's actually to cutting down the calorie intake. Okay, by having all this uh, diet method, okay, it's actually to reduce the amount of food, okay, to reduce uh, the calorie that you're taking, okay, in the end, then you will feel, uh, it's not feeling, but it's actually uh, after weighing yourself, you can see the result that actually you're losing weight. But in fact, it's actually just everything you cut now is actually the calories, okay, not shouldn't be any like specific food. Uh, specific nutrients, okay, specific kind of diet, but in overall, it's actually you need it's just the low calorie diet. Okay, then uh, what's actually low calorie diet? Uh, the in the concept actually to lose weight actually is to uh, take lesser calorie than uh, the calories that you need by your body. Okay, uh, if like the calories taking in is actually from your food. Okay, so from carbs, from fats, the oil. Okay, or and the protein as well. Okay, and the calories out is actually uh, the energy that you've been using every day. Okay, even you sit down. Okay, you breathing. Okay, and actually your heart uh, uh, beating is actually uh, using the energy as well. The extra calories that you you've been using it is actually through uh, exercise and the daily physical activity that you're doing, like walking, uh, uh, climbing up the stairs. Okay, so this is all the extra calories that you. So the non that uh, acti uh, activity that you do is actually increasing the calories out. Okay, so that's why people encouraging uh, those people who want to lose some weight or this thing, you must do some exercise. Okay, but the other part is actually to reduce the calorie in, then you can control your weight. Okay, then uh, by having this low calorie diet doesn't mean that actually you need to reduce or avoid the portion that you should take. Okay, or eat very, very little portion, okay, that you might feel very hungry later on. Okay, so this is not a very uh, good way to uh, eat very small portion, okay, that causes you to be very uh, hungry later, okay, because you tend to take some snacks in between the meal, okay, and when you feel hungry, the next meal you might taking a bigger portion without knowing it, okay. So the tips is here to uh, have a balanced diet, to control on your uh, diet, actually to have, uh, to eat right, but not less. Okay, so later I'm going to uh, explain more about it. Okay, so here you can see the uh, healthy plate here. Okay, it's a balanced meal that contains of the carbohydrate part, the protein part, the fish part, okay, fish, poultry, meat, legumes, okay, and uh, the vegetables and fruits. Okay, this category here is actually, we call it as fiber part. Okay, you can see the fiber is actually more than your rice and your protein. Okay, then it's actually uh, what you can see from this.
a healthy plate here. Next to it is actually uh, water. Okay, it's not like Milo, the syrup, all this thing that you've been taking uh, every day during a breakfast, lunch, and dinner, maybe. Okay, so the, the best drink is actually the water. Okay, because it doesn't contain any uh, calories. Okay, then, okay, so uh, about this healthy plate, uh, just I mentioned about taking uh, right, uh, right food. Okay, then actually, we need to have a right portion as well. First, actually, you have to choose the right plate. Okay, you can't choose a plate, it's bigger, bigger plate or this thing, then actually you will get a very big portion. Okay, you get a smaller plate. Okay, what is the size of the plate that actually is suitable for everybody here? It's actually uh, exactly the same as your palm. Uh, it's a hand, your hand size, sorry. Okay, so the size of this diameter of this uh, plate is same as your uh, hand size. Okay, so this is the plate that you should be using it. So every day, if you're using a plate, the bigger that your uh, than your hand size, actually you get think uh, you might getting a bigger portion that you should need. Okay, so it's uh, it's actually you're not taking a right food or right portion. Okay, so by using a, a, a correct plate size, then you need to control on your portion size. Okay, so actually having always the portion size that you should take every day. Okay, this is uh, suitable for our breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, so a lot of people actually not getting an uh, adequate amount of this uh, protein or vegetables, fruits during our breakfast. Okay, so normally uh, people take like bread, uh, roti canai, uh, maybe nasi lemak. Okay, then you can see that actually it's not much from our protein. Okay, and definitely uh, there's nothing we call it as vegetables sometimes. Or maybe the, uh, there's only like two slices of uh, uh, cucumber. Okay, that is not enough of this uh, fiber. Okay, so the portion that actually suitable for us for every meal, every day, okay, is actually your feast size, okay, for your carbohydrate food. Okay, so all this carbohydrate food, including actually the rice, noodle, bread, cereals, okay, all every cereal products and also tubers okay the thing is actually the tubers here okay so you have to know that actually other than rice noodle all these things considered as carbo okay actually like potatoes pumpkin jagong the corn is actually considered as this category as well so if you're taking rice you're adding with some potato or pumpkin actually everything have to be uh, within this quarter of your plate okay or within your piece size okay it means if you want to add on with some potatoes you must reduce your rice to fit in this one feed size of this carbohydrate food. Okay, then only you're taking the right portion. Okay, the second one is the protein. Okay, and this protein including fish, poultry, meats, and legumes. Okay, and these legumes actually uh, actually including like your uh, tempeh, any beans. Okay, or like tofu. Okay, everything is actually under this category as well. So a lot of people actually taking like tempeh, tofu, all these things as a side dish. Okay, add on to our chicken or fish or meat. Okay, so actually you're taking two portions of this protein. So you're actually taking extra portion as well. Okay, so the tips actually to control on your uh, protein part is actually to choose only one type of protein. Okay, so if you're taking like uh, chicken, try not to add on with uh, eggs or any like uh, tempeh or tofu. Okay, same as you're going to for your uh, fish as well. Okay, then the next one, uh, half of the plate is actually coming from our fiber. Okay, fiber is actually come mainly from our fruits and vegetables. Okay, so vegetables, normally people say, I take a lot of uh, vegetables. Then I ask whether how much of the vegetable actually you've been taking, uh, about like two tablespoons. Okay, so this is not enough actually. Okay, so how much of this uh, uh, vegetables portion is actually suitable for each time eating? It's not one whole day, it's actually each time. It's actually one to two scoop size, okay, for our uh, each of the, our meal. Okay, and another one is actually uh, our fruits. Okay, the fruits is actually about one piece size as well. Okay, fruits is very good, it's very healthy. Okay, but it's like you're taking too much, okay, ex uh, exceeded this portion. Okay, like normally people who likes banana, who likes uh, maybe those like uh, papaya or watermelon, they can eat more than one slice. Okay, but portion size each time is actually just one slice. Okay, if taking more than that, it's not healthy for you. It's, you are actually taking more uh, calories and also sugar. Okay. So this is all about this uh, portion size, okay? What you can see from this plate, okay, is actually this uh, those food that actually we uh, need every day, 
okay so actually you can't really see uh the other thing uh, what we call it uh call it as like uh chocolates cakes um like sugar sugary drinks syrup bandung milo this thing actually you can't uh find it in this plate okay and another thing that actually you can't find it in this plate is the gravy okay or extra sauces okay so all these things is actually you can't find it in this plate is things that actually you don't uh, you don't need it every day okay so try not to have all these things like the gravy or the snacks or the desserts okay every day okay because this is all the thing that causing you to have like extra portion extra calories and actually put on your weight okay not only your weight but increasing your uh, cholesterol level maybe and also your sugar level okay so try to take what is actually uh, recommended here in this very healthy plate this is the food that actually you should take every day okay so what is not uh, shown here okay actually you have to like control that and try to like limit it to once or twice a week only okay so this is some uh, low calories carbohydrate uh, that actually recommended for you all okay so for rice okay so actually rice is not a uh, bad bad guy or something like that okay yeah, actually our body still need the rice as a carbohydrate okay so actually giving us a lot of nutrients okay a lot of these vitamin b's okay that provide us energy okay so the rice actually uh, recommended is the plain rice okay the long grain rice the parboiled rice actually uh, these two types of rice actually uh, lesser starch okay then uh, brown rice higher fiber okay so this is all the rice that actually recommended and this conjac rice okay is a uh, rice that actually uh, similar to those like uh, jelly kind of thing okay agar agar kind of thing that actually made into a rice okay because this is the rice that actually contains no calories okay and no starch at all okay so this is quite new okay but a lot of people don't uh, really uh, recognize this uh, rice okay so maybe you can search online like uh, a lot of this like uh, online uh, shopping or this kind of thing actually you can find it there okay this is not like recommended to replace the rice or this thing but actually to like mix together with the rice you want to like normally take two bowl of rice okay maybe you can take one bowl of plain rice plus this one bowl of conjac rice okay so you can take a similar portion that previously okay but actually uh, half of the calories on it okay the rice that's not recommended is actually like fried rice oily rice like nasi minyak nasi uh, nasi ayam those kind okay and nasi impet okay why nasi impet is like not recommended because nasi impet is actually compact okay like one bowl of rice after making it into nasi impet it's just like two three pieces like that Okay, so a lot of people taking nasi in bed, they thought they're actually a just a small portion, but in fact, they're actually taking one whole bowl of rice without knowing it, okay, because it's actually compact. Okay, so the, the other one is actually glutinous rice, okay, this one is actually higher uh, sugar content compared to the white rice, okay, and the other one is actually rice with gravy. A lot of people like to take uh, rice, then uh, uh, put in a lot of this gravy, curry gravy, uh, a lot of these other gravy sauces kind of thing. Okay, this one is actually all added calories to the rice. In fact, the rice itself without any gravy, okay, is actually considered as low calories. If, if you take within your portion, which is your piece size, okay, so that one is actually a recommended size. You're taking the right portion. But if add on with the oil, add on with the gravy, then it's actually added calories to it. Okay, so don't try to like banji banji your rice with the gravy. Okay, the other one is actually the noodle. Okay, so the noodle actually, uh, there's a lot of types of noodle. Okay, so basically it's actually uh, like brown rice, wheat rice, uh, wheat, uh, brown rice base, wheat base actually consider, uh, consider as higher fiber, make you, make, uh, make you feel uh, more filling. Okay, and there's a uh, konjac noodle as well. Okay, and uh, the suitable version of this uh, noodle is actually soup base okay so try not to take the uh, not recommended what is actually the fried noodle okay like instant noodle so instant noodle is actually like uh those like maggi those kind okay it's actually uh how they actually make it dry is actually using frying method deep frying method okay so in fact that one is actually considered as a fried noodle as well okay even though it looked that dry okay so it's actually a fried noodle, uh, fried noodle with uh, very high calories Okay, another one is dried noodle, okay, uh, or like mi kicap or something like that. Okay, and then the noodle with the gravy, like mi bandung, okay, uh, mi curry or something like that. Okay, so that's this is all the not recommended one because all uh, with higher calories. Okay, then the next one is actually the flour base. Okay, normally people take this like tosi, uh, lamping, all this kind of thing, okay, as a breakfast. So tosi is recommended, uh, then like uh, lamping, all this thing, or like your uh, chokodo. 
Okay, actually we added with some vegetables. Okay, then actually consider as a healthier version. Okay, compared to like uh, the not recommended one is actually the fried one, or with the gravy or with the uh, like uh, chocolate thing. They actually using this ghee or butter, uh, and added with some uh, banana and chovies. This is all not recommended version. Okay, and the one actually uh, added with sugar. Okay, this is all uh, added with calories. Okay. Then this is the starchy vegetable that I mentioned just now, which actually considered uh, consider as same as your rice. Okay, so if you add on all these uh, uh, starchy vegetables, actually will add on your calories. Okay, so be aware of this when you're taking rice. Okay, if you're not taking rice, you're taking this one within that fish size is still a right portion for you. Okay, but if you add on together, become two fish size, this is not a recommended portion for you. Okay. Then for low calories protein, okay, so from meat you change to the fish, definitely it's lesser, uh, lesser calories because fish contain lesser calories than meat, chicken, okay. Then if like uh, the other thing that I actually need to consider is about the cooking method, okay. So by choosing the right uh, protein, right size, okay, the correct size, the correct portion, then you should choose the right uh, cooking method, which actually you have to change from the fried gravy version of uh, the fried uh, chicken or this thing that actually you change to roasted grill or soup base then you can reduce the calories okay then uh, the recommended choices as mentioned just now in conclusion is actually like this okay so you can see from the picture here you can take a uh, quarter of the rice quarter of the protein then half plate of the vegetables okay you can take soup base okay and actually you can take without the gravy okay then uh, this is the meal replacement. Those people who like very confusing how to like control the diet or this thing, then actually they can go for this meal replacement. Okay, they can go for the special formula. Okay, to complete uh, the, the, the this is not like the other uh, uh milk like low fat milk, full cream milk, those kind. Okay, it's actually a complete nutrients. Okay, so you can go for this one. Per serving is actually about two hundred to two hundred fifty calories compared to the normal uh, portion that actually we've been taking might be like eight hundred to uh, one thousand calories per serving actually then you change to this 200 calories per serving then you can reduce a lot of food okay so this special formula actually contains fiber that gives you satiety so don't worry like oh, i just drink one glass of this uh, special formula i will feel very hungry later on it won't okay then actually uh they come with different flavors as well okay so recommended for you to actually replace one or two main meals a day Okay, and as really uh, uh, recommended to uh, replace dinner, we actually, uh, after that, we actually not doing a lot of job, all these things, so you won't feel uh, hungry very fast. Okay, and try to replace the heavy, heaviest meal among the day. Okay, so normally you take very heavy meal for lunch, then you try to replace that one, then you can reduce uh, your weight later on. Okay, so if you feel hungry after taking this meal replacement, recommended to take actually one uh, serving size of this fruit or vegetables as a snack, keep you uh, feel full without adding too much of the calories okay so for high fiber this is recommended to take five colors a day okay so actually to take three scoops of these vegetables a day okay and two fruits a day okay and another one to reduce your calories actually to avoid sugary drinks okay because sugary drinks actually giving you zero nutrients okay and extra calories okay for those people who like to drink uh, sugary drinks only but doesn't like to take uh, water okay so uh, throughout the day actually they might taking uh, like five to six glasses of these sugary drinks by avoiding these six uh, five to six glasses of sugary drinks actually can reduce about like ten thousand ten thousand sorry it's like thousand calories okay that actually will cause you to uh, reduce to, uh, about like one kg per, uh, per week okay so another thing actually a lot of people replace their sugar by using brown sugar, honey, or rock sugar, okay, but it's actually in fact this all this sugar contains same calories and also same sugar with white sugar, okay. So no use actually to replace with uh, this kind of uh, sugar, okay. The thing actually uh, recommended actually to re replace the sugar with artificial sweetener, okay, because actually uh, contains of zero sugar and also zero calories, okay. But in fact. Uh, this one is not recommended to take uh, like a lot, okay, so take in moderate amount, okay, so recommended maybe uh, one to two servings per day, okay. Then uh, these are the recommended uh, high fiber drinks, okay, then actually to increase this high, uh, high fiber, fiber actually can help you to uh, reduce on, uh, control our sugar level, reduce on cholesterol, okay. For women actually having this constipation problem, this high fiber drink actually can help to reduce on this constipation, okay. And this, uh, these are the few ways actually to increase this uh, high, fiber, high 
high fiber in our diet okay so uh, instead of drinking this uh, fruit juice okay that using the juicing method we actually have to use recommended is actually the blended method okay to just blend or mash the uh, fruit okay because we still can take the high, uh, the fiber in the fruits okay by juicing it actually will be separating out this fiber and being thrown away okay we are actually just drinking the uh, sugar water from these fruits okay and to add on chassis or the psyllium husk to add on the fiber okay and actually you can use this low calorie special formula okay or the low fat milk to replace condensed milk okay and another one actually to reduce the calories from sugar is actually to use the artificial sweetener okay so the conclusion is like that to uh, to reduce the low calorie diet okay to take the low calorie diet and eat right not less okay then uh, uh having this healthy plate concept okay taking the right food with right portion okay if you want to have a meal replacement you have to take a complete nutrients okay to have a balanced meal then take a high fiber high fiber diet okay then actually to use this artificial sweetener moderately okay to replace your sugar okay so actually i have this uh sample for this uh, high fiber drink low calorie high fiber drinks i will show you now so for example this is the recipe for a uh, dragon fruit with chia seed okay so as mentioned just now just uh this is one of these high fiber low calorie uh, fruit juice okay fruit drinks okay so this is the uh the rest the ingredients that we need okay so uh, uh for preparation method we have bring uh, this uh, video i can show you now okay this is a special formula that we'll be using okay and this is the mesh dragon fruit with chassis and this artificial sweetener okay and this is the mint leaf okay then uh, ice this is all the thing that we need okay so this is a special formula okay then i actually diluted the special formula first okay then you add uh, this uh, mesh dragon fruits with that on this high fiber chassis Okay, it's actually like jelly form okay so when you take it it feels like uh, jelly jelly like that it's a very good texture okay if you like it you can uh, put, uh, put in more as well okay to replace the condensed milk and having like a similar texture like uh, taste like uh, syrup bando you can actually add in this special formula actually low calories and low sugar okay so put in the ice okay so for, uh, so for people who don't like to take ice ring you can just uh like omit this uh preparation method okay because fruit juice stick without the ice can be very nice as well you don't need to add on uh, artificial sweetener if you're using this special formula because it's really really taste sweet okay if like you don't uh, you want to take a uh, very uh like more sweetness okay yes you may uh, add in this artificial sweetener okay without adding too much of uh without adding actually sugar and calories in fact okay so this is a dragon fruit uh with chassis just now another one actually you can use this uh kiwi because we want to use like different colors okay so just now the dragon fruit is actually can you uh, you can actually replace your uh, like rose syrup at home okay so using the dragon fruit with high pepper then now the green one is actually you can use the uh, kiwi okay so this is the video for preparing the kiwi uh, with chassis drinks okay similar uh, ingredients okay so we put in this uh, kiwi the mesh kiwi okay we're not juicing it out we're having all the fiber inside it okay then we have this chassis as well very high fiber good for constipation Okay, you can add like five to six tablespoons if you want. Okay, or like before soap, you can use about like one teaspoon. Okay, so this one we don't use any uh, milk. Okay, or the special formula, we actually just uh, plain uh, adding this plain water. Okay, so for people who don't like to have the milk, you can just use this method. But instead of using this kiwi, you can also using a uh, green green tea. Okay, so you add on this artificial sweetener, okay, which doesn't contain any sugar or calories. Okay, it can give you the sweetness that you want. Okay, so put in some mint leaf and the lemon slice. Okay, so this is the kiwi juice. Okay, another one we use like uh, orange. 
okay this orange actually we prepared it by remove all the pulps okay from the orange wedges okay so we don't uh, just juice it take the juice only we just remove all the pulps inside okay then you just mash it okay then you can see actually we have all the fruits all the pulps inside same with the previous string we actually adding the chassis chassis to re increase all this uh, fiber okay so to reduce or like to control on your sugar level to reduce your cholesterol level actually this is a very good uh, choices okay then similar to just now as well to add in some water okay if you want to taste uh, milk we can add in a special formula and this is the artificial sweetener okay so remember you want to have a very low calorie drinks you can add in this uh, this artificial sweetener to have the same taste but low calorie okay so all this drink actually look very nice okay so for women who likes to like, take picture of nice food nice drinks okay this is a good option as well all right thank you miss yeah for that interesting talk can't wait to try it on my diet and try the rest of this out uh, we've come to and for joining us today for your support. We highly appreciate it. Uh, have a nice day ahead. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, follow the SOP. Thank you so much.